Um, <clears throat> sorry, I've lost my voice a little bit uh, because the crowd was so good tonight. But, uh, you know, obviously we're disappointed, but I thought it was a heck of a soccer game and, and certainly deserving of this level or this, this point in the season. Uh, two really good teams that, that gave everything they had and were, you know, gutted to have lost that game. But uh, I think, you know, when we look back, we'll know that we gave a heck of an effort. Um, I thought we started a little slow, actually, um, from nerves, um, but we kind of settled in. After the goal, we, we like playing a goal up. That's kind of how it's been the whole season and like with this group my three years. Um, so once we got that goal, I think we kind of settled in uh, to the first half and kind of started dominating the game. Um, and the second half, I think it was kind of more of the same. It, it, it's, it ebbs and flows and uh, momentum shifts, but I thought we had the, the majority of, of the momentum throughout the game. Yeah, just to touch base on that. Yeah, I do agree that we uh, had the majority of the momentum during the game. Um, although after, you know, after they scored their goal, I think we got a little frantic and uh, we got a little more nervous and we couldn't connect some things, but um, I still think that uh, we were we were still the more dominating team. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything out of it. Um, I think we just wanted to do more of the same, um, have a lot of the ball and, and possess a little more in the attacking third. Everyone's tired at that point in the game, so you really are just playing for one chance and one shot. Um, and I think we did a really good job in the first overtime, um, as well as the second, except that they scored, obviously. Um, but that was from a set piece, not the run of play. But I think we had the majority of the ball in the overtime periods and the, the, the chances during the run of play. And obviously, we didn't come out on top, but that's soccer. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm really proud of this group. Um, you know, we put together a very tough schedule, and early on we, we had a few bumps, um, but we, we kind of stuck to the plan as far as who we thought we were and, and how we could be the best version of ourselves. And uh, in the end, we were able to, to start playing well, go on a run, and, and get to this point. And you can see tonight, I mean, it, the, the fight in the group is, is tremendous, and they wanted it really badly. They work very hard for each other. They care for each other on and off the field. And, um, you know, it's obviously disappointing, but uh, I'm really happy with with where this team ended up at the end of the season in terms of who they are and, and how they play. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be to be honest, it was it was good to after they scored it was good to get to the point where we could sort of regroup going into the overtime and we've played a lot of overtime games this year so so that wasn't new to us this is actually the first time we've lost an overtime game this year unfortunately but um we just kind of said look you know this is it the game has opened up now which which suits us in a lot of situations because we have so many good dynamic attacking players that can make a play um, when there's some space in the game and and you know we talked about the the set piece scenarios and how they got their goal and you know they're very good in those situations they've scored a lot of their goals this year from corners and uh, it has been a little bit of an Achilles heel for us we've conceded a number of goals from set piece situations and so you know we talked about trying to be a little bit better in those situations and and I think we were on on the type of corner that they scored from initially um, but they did a good job with this one too they have a couple of different things that they do that that cause problems so but you know I, th I thought our response going into the overtime was awesome and we were we really looked like we were going to win it in the first overtime and unfortunately we just didn't get the goal um 
I mean, yeah, it, the fact that he keeps getting better. Um, you know, he's been really impactful since he arrived as a freshman and he had a great year last year. He has built on that. His, his goal tallies now for his first three years are 5, 10, and 15. So, you know, maybe he'll get to 20 next year. Um, but the fact that, that he wants it badly, that he works really hard at it, that he's humble about it, even though he is the guy getting all the headlines, he understands that there's nothing that he can do that, that uh, will come in a solo effort, he, he knows that, you know, everything that he does is is built on the platform of, of all the work that his teammates are doing. So he, he's just a, a tremendous pleasure to coach, and I'm thankful that we got him for one more year.